up and unicorn here i want to begin by apologizing in case you can hear my dryer in the background i am drying some towels anyhow as i uh, climb up this chair to lay down on the floor and record i want to discuss this um more dark femininity and today's topic is fiona apple another woman who was like a remedy for me as a teenager um and i should say as a preteen really um Fiona Apple's femininity in a lot of her music is so dark. It's damn near occult. It's damn near witchy. And as far as I know, she was no part of that. I can remember her accepting awards. I don't remember if it was on MTV or what. But she got up there and everybody expected her to just go with the program. And she got up there. She was like, you know, Maya Angelou once said, and of course the poet's name, the late great Maya Angelou, but a lot of people call her Maya Angelou because there's a U at the end of her name, whatever. But she was like quoting Maya Angelou. And she's like, no, 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 you know what? This world is bullshit, beep, you know? And she was just letting the system have it. Anytime she had a platform to say something, <laughs> she carried a message. Like she was just testy, passionate, protesty. Don't lie to me. Be honest with me. Like just full of feminine darkness. I mean, she was like a full moon. Like I get Lilith vibes from Fiona Apple. And this was her as a teenager. My favorite song of hers is called Criminal. And I mean, one of the lines in the song is, what would an angel say? The devil wants to know. Um, another, th you know, don't, um, what is it? Help me, but don't tell me to deny it. I've done wrong and I want to suffer for my sins. I mean, just some, some parts of dark femininity are just so beautiful. I mean, this woman was so willing to take herself to account and damn near be, you know, almost masochistic to the point of no lash me i want to i want to i want to pay for what i did wrong i don't want to live in this like the conscience on this woman was just incredibly loud she couldn't do anything without checking her morality up against it and it wasn't just in her music it was in her life it was in the way that she walked and talked and you wonder why for me, Fiona Apple in so many ways was a mirror of uh, Alanis Morissette but for whatever reason, Fiona did not last in that industry very long at all. And you have a lot of talented people who are just like, nope, I'm not going to take the oath. I'm not going to do X, Y, and Z. And they just kind of bow out and the career goes to nothing. I kind of wonder if that was the case with Deborah Cox as well, because this is a woman who arguably, I mean, has a voice that competes with Whitney Houston so much so when there was a movie about Whitney Houston's life played by Yaya um, DaCosta. They had Deborah Cox sing all of her songs. I mean, the power on this woman. You guys know Deborah Cox. How did you get here? I'm so tempted to say, B, I caught the bus. Nobody's supposed to be here. Chick, I gave up. <laughs> but anyhow, um, Fiona Apple's air of depression, vulnerability, and sadness and is almost sexy. It's almost very seductive to see her in sitting and standing and turning in these vulnerable positions and upset about the plight of the world and just looking fragile and tearful. It almost beckons you to be by her side. And that's something beautiful about dark femininity, you know? She's going off sometimes. She's running, you know, fast as you can. Um... Across the Universe uh, is a Beatles cover uh, that she did. And, oh, my God, the video where, like, there's just chaos all around her. And she's like, okay, nope, nothing's going to change my world. Um, and it's amazing that she was the one to cover that song because she was actually very affected by the happenings of the world. And then finally this came out. Maybe that was um, her living in that dark femininity becoming brighter you know a lot of people who come out as artists dwelling in dark femininity end up in you know a lot of light uh i think the same thing happened with alanis morissette i mean when you look at alanis she just looks more happy more well adjusted whatever else but that dark femininity is what got her there and they're both very very intensely spiritual women i mean just goddess vibes do i get from the two of them um, 
Fiona did more for me than I can ever say. Definitely across the universe, criminal, um, fast as you can. I mean, so many people, I had a person in my comment section, shout out to you, who was like, yeah, you know, she was listening to Tidal, you know, the CD by um, Fiona Apple, just, you know, from start to finish. And these women had music where you didn't have to press a skip button, like it would just talk to your soul. And it would help you exercise, exorcise the demons, the demons that were in you, the spirits, the things that were going on inside of your body as a young girl, the violations that you would face, the truth that you would face that you didn't know was in the real world. Like all these deep, dark songs help you to come to grips with it. That is dark femininity. When Fiona Apple gets up in front of a, you know, thousands and thousands of people and then millions more watching at home to accept an award and instead of thanking Arista and, and Universal and whatever else, she goes, no, I'm going to quote Maya Angelou and you know what? This world is BS, okay? Like she just got up there protesting and people would be like, oh, you're being so bitchy and ooh, you're being so aggressive. Oh, you're being, I dare you to look at Fiona Apple. I will link my favorite music video or one of my favorite music videos of her Below, and I dare you to look at that woman and call her masculine. There's nothing masculine about that. There's nothing masculine about her. So, um, like I said, giving you a hard, fast definition of dark femininity for me is tough. And I don't want to be going on the web searching up de de definitions. You know, I just want to give you keep reiterating the image of dark femininity because there's something so beautiful about it and i hate 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 to see african-american women practicing their dark femininity only to be called masculine by men who in reality just want to snuff the power out of them again don't let these men talk you out of your power your dark femininity is what gets you through the darkness and into the light I am up at a unicorn. I thank you so much for spending these seven minutes with me. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Mm, maybe I should make this eight minutes long. I've got like, uh, I don't know, maybe 40 more seconds. So let's see. You can take this time to like the video. And also, if you want me to explore further in depth some of, of the women I've mentioned or other women who you're like, okay, well, is this dark femininity? Is this light? Is there a little bit of gray hair? Like, because I know I was thinking about doing In Vogue and In Vogue kind of oscillates between light and dark femininity, which is really good because everyone should, right? We should have access to both, not just one or the other because that would be an imbalance. You need your yin and your yang. So um, anyhow, comment below because I love to interact with you in the comment section. I'm always excited when I see your comments. So, <laughs> and I'm always a little sad when I don't. Like when I go to the comment section and there's not a comment yet, I'm like, dude, come and talk to me. <laughs> All right, you guys, I thank you so much for listening. I am up at a unicorn and I am out of here.